Hello everybody, it's Neo here bringing you another Pokemon How To episode. So in this episode we'll be looking at Melotic. Now Melotic is a monotype water Pokemon. It's one of my favourite water Pokemon um, just because it just looks awesome. So let's have a look at its stats. So we've got 95 HP, 60 attack, 79 defence, 100 special attack, 125 special defense and 81 speed giving us a grand total of 540 now 540 is a pretty solid um, base stat and melotic has quite a few different ways of using um, its stats in battle so you're probably going to be using it as a special attacker or a tank as it can tank really well with some of its abilities which we'll cover later. The 95 HP means it's going to be able to tank quite a lot of hits. The defensive stat is a bit below average, there's nothing too special about it but again it, it's pretty decent and that special defense is going to stop us from getting hurt from special attacks. So let's have a look at it competitively then. So we're going to be damaged by normal fighting, flying, poison, ground, rock, bug, ghost, psychic, dragon, dark, fairy, or by normal um, damage. We're going to be doubly weak to grass and doubly weak to electric. We're going to be immune to nothing and resistant to steel, fire, water and ice. So water monotype is one of the best types for tanking as it's got four resistances and only two weaknesses and everything else just does normal damage. So, let's head over to the competitive side of it and have a look at what it does against other Pokemon. So, offensively, we're going to do two times damage to fire, ground and rock. So, we're going to have some pretty decent um, coverage because those are quite common types. We're going to do half damage to dragon, grass and water. And we're going to take half damage from fire, ice, steel and water. And we're going to take double damage from electric and grass. So again, a pretty solid type, three um, sort of offensives and four defensives. So let's have a look in Pokemon Showdown. So welcome to Pokemon Showdown. So in this bit, we're going to be looking at a variety of different ways to use Melotic. So the first one that I decided to make was a physical Melotic, because why, why not? <laughs> it's got some physical moves, so I thought, well, let's mix it up a bit. And, and throw the opponent off because it's not going to be expecting a physical Melotic. So what I've done here is I've given Melotic a Life Orb. So we're going to do 30% extra damage with all damaging moves. But we're going to take 10% of our health every time. I've, I've decided to go with the ability Marvel Scale. Because that raises our defense by 50% if we've got a status ailment on us. So what I've decided to do here is go for the coil, so we're going to be raising our attack and defence, which is going to be boosting that physical attack a little bit more. I've gone for body slam so that we can hit everything neutral with that 30% chance to paralyse, so we're going to be causing some status effects of our own. I've gone for waterfall for the stab and the 20% chance to flinch. So. The body slam with the uh, paralysis and the flinch chance means that we're going to have a good chance of our own to make the opponent not be able to touch us. I've gone for the recover because Melotic without recover is just pointless. Re recover is just a, a brilliant move for recovering that lost HP from the life orb so we can keep going throughout longer battles. So EV wise I've gone for 252 in HP and 252 in attack. I've gone for the adamant nature so we're going to get that boost to the attack. Right so let's have a look at the special melotic. So again I've gone with the life orb so we're doing that 30% extra damage but this time I've gone competitive with the ability. So for those of you who don't know what competitive does it raises our special attack by two stages if any of our other stats are dropped by any amount. So that's going to give us a bit of a boost every time we get a stat lowered. So what I've gone for this set, um, I've gone with Scold because it's Stab and we've got that 30% chance to burn which will help out with our defence. So we're not going to be able to take as much damage defensively if we get the burn off. So the Ice Beam is there for coverage so it's going to affect Dragon, Ground, Grass which is part of our weakness. Dragon Pulse is there again for another coverage move. And then we've got recover again 
so that we can last a bit longer in battle. So as with the physical set I've gone with 252 HP so we can tank a lot of stuff and I've gone for 252 special attack with a modest nature. Right let's go on to my personal melodic that I use in battle quite often. So with this melodic I'm going to be using the cute charm ability. Why you may ask why not go for the marvel scale well I'll talk you through it and my method in the madness. So with this one you'll want leftovers for the sort of little boost over against for sustain and we want a female melodic for this one. So cute charm basically has a 30% chance of causing infatuation in the attacking Pokemon if, if it was done like a physical thing. So obviously Melotic's um, worst defense, well worst stat is its defensive stat compared to its special defense so we're going to see physical attackers attackers. So that's why I go with Cute Charm over the Marvel scale. So to counteract that uh, like Marvel scale boost I've decided to go with Coil because Coil raises our defense. Yes we are going to lack that um, attack boost that we're going to get because we're not going to be using it but we get an accuracy boost with it as well which I suppose isn't bad either. So with this I've gone for Confuse Ray because the idea is that you confuse the target first then you can set up coils to raise your defense. You've also got that cute charm um, ability there just in case the physically attack you which basically is going to completely wall out any physical attackers. Um, the scold then obviously is stab so it's going to do quite a bit of damage and we're going to have that chance to burn as well which will reduce the attacking capabilities of the opponent even further. So again having recover on just gives us that sustainability and this Pokemon is incredible with this sort of setup and, and I highly recommend that you give it a go. Um, you could trade Coil out for Ice Beam if you wasn't too fussed about covering that defensive stat further. But I found that once I got to plus um, 6 defense uh, in, in a Wi-Fi battle it was pretty much game over for any Pokemon that came in. I, I was untouchable. Um, so what we've done with the stats wise I've just gone all out HP with 252 there defense I put four points into defense and I've just gone all out special defense so the reason I went all out special defense and gave it the calm nature was simply to be that the, the, the moves that we've got set up here is going to completely wall out the defensive uh, sort of area with from physical attackers so the special defense is just literally going to wall everything else so it's, it's a brilliant setup and it's just a, a, a twist that people aren't going to expect um, with the standard setup that I'm going to show you next so this is what the standard melodic um, looks like if you go into competitive battle in this is what you're more likely to come up against so melodic will, will have a flame or toxic orb. I personally prefer flame orb because it's it's like guaranteed set amount of uh, damage, and it doesn't increase over time like the toxic orb. And to be fair, you're not going to be using any physical things, so it's not going to do anything to our like damage capabilities. So with this one, we've got the ability marvel scale. So that's because we've got the flame orb and we're going to be constantly burned. This is going to increase our defense by 50%, meaning that we're going to be quite tanky. So what I've done here is we've gone for the basic setup that you'll see with this sort of um, like tank setup. So we've gone for dragon pulse for like coverage, so neutral damage to most things. Um, we've gone for scold, so we get that extra burn chance so it's going to reduce the attacking capabilities of Pokemon even further so we're going to take even less damage on the defense and Ice Beam again for the coverage and um, so we're going to cover out that grass weakness um, and it's just a really decent move and we've got obviously if we don't use the Scold we've got the chance to freeze and then we've got the recover to sort of stall out the, the opponent and to get um, as our health back from the flame orb damage so for this um, setup we're going to go for 252 HP again and we're going to do all out defense with the calm nature again. So this is what you'll likely find if you come against the Melotic. So my, my setup is basically a different way of doing this but I find my setup to be um, slightly more useful. I mean you could argue that the, uh, this um, standard setup is a lot better because it just gives you that um, 50% boost straight off the bat where this one requires a bit of setup but 
I, I think that this one uh, works well because you've got that 50% chance that they're not going to be able to attack you and hit themselves so they're going to cause themselves damage and you've also got that sort of accuracy boost just in case they lower your accuracy stat with whatever they've got. Um, so I was trying to think of some interesting ways to use Melotic using the movesets it, it's got so I came up with an evasion trap in Melotic. So what you'll need for this one is the competitive nature um, and leftovers for that small sustain boost. And I've given it Ice Beam, Hypnosis, Whirlpool and Double Team. So this is more like a, a, a setup that will really annoy your opponent. So the Ice Beam has got the coverage um, and stuff. The Hypnosis is going to put them to sleep which allows you to set up your Double Team. So you're not going to be touched very, very often once you've got that Double Team boost. And the Whirlpool then just forces the opponent to stay in and it does chip damage each turn which is pretty funny. Uh, when they're asleep they're taking chip damage and ice beam damage. There's, there, there's not a lot that they can do and they're not going to be able to touch you. The competitive ability is just there just in case they lower any stats to try and weaken you. So you're going to get that boost to the ice beam and the Whirlpool. Um, with the stats I've gone for 252 in HP again so we're going to be tanking some hits and I've just gone all out defense to cover that um, weakness and balance out both defense and special defense so if you have a look here so boosted it's 282 and again with 287 so we're going to be able to tank a good variety of stuff anyway. Um, and then I've gone for a rest tank and, and yes yeah, so I was doing this after a 10 hour night shift so I can't spell. Um, so with this one, um, leftovers again, and this one I've gone for Marvel scale, so you'll see why in a minute, and it's quite, I think it's quite an ingenious way of using Melotic. So I've gone for Scold, which gives us that burn um, chance, so it's going to lower the opponent's attack by half if we get the burn off, and it's going to do chip damage. I've gone for Hidden Power Ground, because that covers our electric weakness, and it's a good coverage type, um, it hits most things neutral. Um, or super effective so it's a good good coverage thing and then ice beam's going to cover our um, grass weakness and again it's a good coverage with other types the reason i add marvel scale was because of rest because obviously rest is going to heal us completely of our health and while we're rested it's going to give us that 50% boost to defense. So while we're healing um, any status effects that we've got, so we can heal paralysis, poison, and burn, it's going to completely shut out the opponent's Pokemon by um, giving us that defensive boost. So they're not going to be able to do anything. So you can waste two turns resting and PP stall them. So they're not going to be able to do anything to you while you're in that rest stage because you're going to be recovering with leftovers. So... With this setup, I decided to go again with 252 uh, HP, uh, 4 defense, and 252 attack with the modest nature again, so that we're doing a lot of damage, or as much damage as we can possibly can with the uh, coverage moves. Now, you can change hidden power for Dragon Pulse if you wanted to, or if you wanted to, you could go for Dragon Breath and have that paralysis. Um, sort of 30% chance to paralyze the opponent if you wanted to slow it down or or you, you wasn't too fussed about the burn so you've just got the two options then if you wanted to paralyze or burn the opponent depending on what it was so anyway that's the comes the end of this tutorial i hope you learned something and i hope you found like some interesting ways of using melotic um, I'd really like to hear your input so if you've got any setups that you use for melotic that are different to mine or or you've used some of my setups, let me know how you get on with it. Um, chuck them all in the comments below. And if you want to see a Pokemon that you want me to review or come up with some like interesting techniques with it, then put those in the comments below and like the highest rated one I'll, I'll put as a priority of doing. Thank you very much for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. So please hit the like um, and subscribe to us if you want to see more videos that we've done in the PokeHow series. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.